I had absolutely no idea when I read uh, Comedy of Errors that it was set here, which I think as, as someone who is Turkish but grew up in London, there's a really interesting kind of distinction between reading something and not being aware that it's actually from your homeland. And I think partly because of, of, of the spelling of Ephesus, which is not in, which is not spelt in the, in the Turkish alphabet, it always kind of presents itself as being something like, like a lot of classical literature, it kind of presents as being either Greek or, or Latin. That's, that's how we understand mm -hmm. the classics to be in the Western world. And with that, there's this kind of erasure of any sort of Middle Eastern or, or, or Turkish or, or Levant influence in that. Um, so it wasn't really until a few months ago that it suddenly occurred to me that, that Ephesus is, is here. <laughs> the real Ephesus. Yeah, it's actually here. So you're... Turkish and you were born in Turkey, but do you ever feel like there's still a cultural divide or an identity divide for you? Yeah, I was born in Nishantash, like the heart of what we call the white Turkey, like Western Turk, Western Turks, Westernized Turks, modern Turks, that kind of, so I had like an English education and it ended up with this PhD in English literature. So this Istanbul-based person reading Shakespeare, <laughs> trying to explore uh, themes Shakespeare did, and writing in English at the end. But this duality is interesting because it is something that people fear of and people are angry about. It's like, why aren't you just a Turk or why aren't you just a Westerner? Uh, but then it gives you a way to di discuss these divisions in society in an interesting way. When did you first get annoyed by this fact of the lack of Femininity in Shakespeare, do you remember? I think the first time I became aware of it and aware of why I wasn't engaging properly with it was when I was at university. And um, we were studying, I think it was Macbeth, and we ended up uh, having to watch Roman Polanski's uh, adaptation of it. And there was this really interesting scene with the witches at the beginning where uh, one of the witches lifts her skirt and it looks ever so slightly like she might have male genitals. And there was, uh, f for the first time, that kind of, that sparked an interest in me because it gave a female character a slightly different dimension. Um, and I remember for that entire essay, because I had felt, I think, so, so bored and, and, and like Shakespeare was just constantly recycled in the same way whilst it was being taught to us without this development of, of, of cultures or, or perhaps even relating it to a more contemporary social understanding. There are things that are familiar. We're just not really drawing those out just yet whilst we're, whilst we're teaching a lot of these topics. So when I think about comedy of errors, it seems like it's Shakespeare's most powerful celebration of the immigrant and how crucial the, the phenomenon of immigration is for a person to discover her character and her powers and it almost seems like a message to his fellow countrymen and countrywomen that you, know, you should travel more, you should change places more, because that's how you will reach any form of wisdom. Immigration is this big thing for you, right? Like of course. It, it gives power to your writing and to who you are. Yeah. And this constant search for what you may call your home. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. And you're always 
you're always looking for where that that place is and I, and I think in a lot of ways it's 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 ultimately it's always kind of it's it's not just the place or the space but it's it's as you said it's the wisdom that the people around you bring to you as well which is effectively what comedy of errors is about and the experiences of 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 other people kind of forming and coming together in your own life and then you take all these little pieces and then when you put them together that eventually becomes a part of not necessarily your interpersonal identity but certainly your understanding of mm. of home So the immigrant is a character in uh, Comedy of Errors, like a central character, but a character. And then we can imagine people watching him from the stage. But then in our day, the immigrant came so much to the fore that it's as if it's dominating the cultural world and political world. My book is about young Turk people under the shadow. It's about frustrated, anxious young people they're not exactly immigrants, but in an intellectual way, they are immigrants. They're like they're bringing foreign ideas to Turkey, and they want to uh, export their ideas abroad. So this puts them into a fragile position because the political system, the structures, uh, they're not for the kind of cultural immigration. Mm -hmm. that the young people are striving for. So I think uh, that kind of uh, struggle continues on both fronts. It does. <laughs>